breakfast. I have not vlogged because we've had a morning trying to get here. We're at Topolino's Terrace at the character breakfast. I'm excited. Now I'm excited. We have food on the table. My coffee has been ordered. We're here. We made it. And I can see Mickey. And my mum has her uh, has her ears on ready to go. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. Mickey's over there. Mickey is. No, that's Minnie. That's Minnie. That's Minnie. I don't know where Mickey went. I think he went into the other room. I feel like Mickey, Mickey and Minnie are going to need a coffee after this. There is a, a lot of very demanding children. <laughs> Oh, Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Mwah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> because it's an a la carte menu that like it wouldn't be enough food <laughs> like I am defeated <laughs> defeated like I yes. wasn't expecting them to give us this which had like two croissants two chocolate, chocolate chip muffins and two apple cinnamon muffins and then the waffles on top of it but the food was delicious wasn't it what did you think it was very good uh, surprising uh, the waffles I felt would be a bit dense maybe with a very light nice taste like. Yeah, they're really nice. I don't think you can hear me because they're making an announcement. Um, but I think the characters are gonna dance around a little bit. Um, but it's really nice, like they, they spend a lot of time with you. Like they come right up to the table and stuff. It's really nice. get cramp in that finger. Yeah, I do actually. Oh god, you literally look like you're flipping all the characters off. The They're never going to come. So I haven't really been able to show you guys much of the Riviera Resort because we were very late this morning, but this is what the bus transportation <laughs> looks like. Yeah, this morning we had a little bit of a nightmare. Google told me to get the bus from our hotel to Epcot to get the Skyliner here that we should have gone to Hollywood Studios because going into Epcot meant that we had to queue to go into the park and then walk to the International Gateway and then get here. To be fair, it's only it's direct from the International Gateway to here, but we had to queue for like 45 minutes to get into Epcot, so that made us extremely late. <laughs> so um, yeah, we were late coming here, so I didn't really get to vlog much, but breakfast was delicious and now we're heading to Disney Springs to meet some of my friends. Hello everyone, I am starting the vlog as we're leaving Hollywood Studios which might seem a little bit strange. I decided only to do mini vlogs for TikTok this morning because we were only in the park for a few hours. We wanted to do the three big rides, the Minnie and Mickey's, Rise and Millennium Falcon and we got them all done by like 11am which is great. Grabbed a coffee, we had a grilled cheese at Woody's Lunchbox and now we're actually heading to the premium outlets. So I think this vlog is going to go in after 
the character breakfast that we did. So it's going to be like a little kind of patchwork, miscellaneous Orlando vlog. But I did want to update you guys that we did end up getting my mum a disability access pass. Uh, it was actually a lovely cast member who was in the queue for Rise of the Resistance, saw us struggling just a little bit. Um, and he said to us, do you guys not have the DAS pass? And we were like, well, we went to Magic Kingdom on our first day to ask about it, uh, and they didn't grant us one. So he asked us a little bit more about like the specifics of my mum's disability. And he was like, no, 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 you absolutely need to tell them this, this, and this. Go to guest services on your way out, and they will definitely give you a DAS pass. And I have to say that the cast member at guest services was incredible as well. He was so lovely, so respectful. And um, yeah, we got it. So that's going to make our second week significantly easier, which I think is a relief after Universal yes, yesterday. It's not as if we're still going to be skipping the queues. We're still going to be waiting in the queues, but it'll give us a time to come back, which is yeah. like the length of the queue time. Which yes. So basically, the DAS Pass is synced to your Disney Experience app. Um, so now I have it on my account and when I'm looking at what rides we want to do next I just go on it and I click there's a little button for DAS Pass and then it tells you what time you have to come So for instance now if I wanted to go on Alien Swirling Saucers is quarter to 12 Our return time was 20 past 12 and you can book one at a time So that's just gonna really help us so then my mum doesn't have to be waiting in the queue uh, And we can just go I think you then go on the lightning lane um, so it's going to be really helpful. Obviously, if there's a ride that's like a 15 minute wait, we'll probably just wait. We won't bother using the DAS Pass, but it's really helpful to know that we have it. So I just wanted to update you guys on that now, because if you've already watched the Universal vlog, you will have seen us kind of be like, oh, this is a struggle. Like, what are we doing? So yes, it's a bit of a relief. It is such a beautiful day today. Like, look how gorgeous the Skyliner looks. We are. We are going to the outlets because we want to go to the little Disney outlet store and then the Florida Mall because I would like to go to box lunch but we're going to try and not take too long so we're going to get on the bus to All Star Movies which we're seeing and then we're going to go and we're coming back here for Phantasmic aren't we? Yes we are. Yes we are but that's not till 8 so I'm hoping that we might be able to get an hour or so in the pool. Look at this Avatar bus, that's so cool. I love that. And you got Minnie just behind it. My mum wishes everyone to see the new buses. Um, they're really well equipped. So yeah, this is what we mean when we say Disney's definitely got it figured out. So this bus is able to take three wheelchairs because you've got the old school kind of restraint here, which is these three seats. And then you have this side and then that side. So, and they also have charging points as well. Very fancy. So we're heading back to the hotel now and then we'll get an Uber to the outlets. Made it to the premium outlets. We've made it to the character warehouse. Here we go. Oh, it's big. Use a basket, there we go. Mm -hmm. These little tea sets are so cute. Never be able to take them home, but they're adorable. Okay, I love this stitch swimsuit. It's plus size, but I love that pattern. This is all kids' clothes, I think. Jackets and sweaters. Maybe I'll find a spirit jersey down here somewhere. Okay, we have a purple spirit jersey, and I love that it has Ariel on the front, but the back seems awful busy. This is a lot. It's also medium. I don't know if I want a medium or a large. Let me just try on. So in the parks this morning, I kind of realized what I've been missing from the lounge flies. I haven't found any princess lounge flies. I saw a girl in the queue with the most beautiful tangled lounge fly. But all the ones I've seen have all been like the Mickey and Minnie characters or Star Wars or Marvel. I feel like in the parks there's not like a huge selection. Okay, I'm seeing purple. That's the aerial one. This is Paradise Falls. What's Paradise Falls? Oh, it's from Up. No. I like the color, but that's not my favorite movie. But we have an Avatar one. Oh, that might be... Oh, I do like that. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so they've got the holiday lounge flies here. Still no purple lounge flies. No purple, no princess, no pink. Come on. It's quite busy here, so I haven't really been filming too much, but... My mum got her sketchers that she wanted and we got the second pair 
half price, so that's Paul's birthday present. And we got some stuff from the Disney company store. Maybe I'll show you uh, when I get back. I only got myself that Little Mermaid Spirit jersey. And my mum wishes to go to Kate Spade, which is actually one of my favorite bag places, but I already have more than enough. Well, I've just seen it's up to 70% off everything, so I might change my mind. Because look at that little lilac one. I have the, oh, I have it in black though. Oh, that's lovely. I know, but it's, I, well, technically I don't have that one in black. I have the big one in black. Come for a purse. Purses are here, mum. No, mum, this is more your size, I think. This is the kind of size of purse you like. There you go, I found you the perfect one. Yeah, that's just like the size. It's the, almost the, exactly the same as the one I have, but mine is in brown. The little mini mouse collection is so cute. Look at the little ears. That's adorable. That's a lovely one. And they've got like a little coin purse too. Yeah, it's a strange shape. I'm not a, not a big fan of that. So we come all the way to the Florida Mall, literally, for this store. Because I saw someone with an Aragorn and Arwen lounge fly that I am obsessed with. Okay, I'm literally in the store at five seconds and I already see princess lounge flies. This is more like it. Yes, thank you very much. No, I don't think the Lord of the Rings collection is very big. All I can see is the Sauron and Balrog stuff. Hmm. So these lunch I mean these lunch flies I like a lot better than in the parks, but I don't know if I like them enough to buy, one. to buy one. Like that Aragorn and Arwen one that I saw that women have. Oh my god, I love that. But I don't see yeah. the only lunch fly I can see there is the Balrog. I don't okay. see uh I don't see any other ones. This one's really cute, this frozen one. Oh, there's more behind them that are slightly different. Yeah, wait. This is just unfortunate because um, it seems to be a really small box lunch. Uh, I remember I went into one in Texas and it was like twice the size of this. And I feel like it had a bit of a better selection. I think they have a lot of anime stuff, but yeah, their Lord of the Rings section is utterly tiny. We're back from the Florida Mall and I have done the quickest change imaginable in the room to get to the pool before it gets too cold <laughs> to actually be out there. It's currently quarter to four, so I'm hoping we can stay out until about five before it gets too chilly. And then we'll grab a quick dinner here before we head back to Hollywood Studios for Fantasmic, which I am not going to vlog, by the way. So you guys are just getting pool. But if you do want to see Fantasmic, I filmed some of it um, in my previous Hollywood Studios vlog which I say I'm going to link in the description, I will most likely forget. So otherwise, just make sure you're subscribed and you're liking the videos and stuff. You got a little bell turned on. I'm about to go into the pool. breakfast in the hotel almost every morning when I was eight. Yeah. Uh, we are heading to Disney Springs this morning which will, so I think this will be going in like the miscellaneous Orlando vlog and then that will maybe finish that vlog off. The switcher is very good at telling us like when it needs attention to be honest. It's yeah. like you left my handbrake on, you left the key in. Ah! Uh, yeah, so we finished our breakfast at the hotel, time to head to Springs. So welcome to Disney Springs in the sun. This is the first time we've been here in the sun. We came here a couple of times before. I don't know if I vlogged the very first time when we went to World of Disney. I potentially did. And we are going to go into Joe Malone because I am notorious notorious for never wearing perfume because they give me a headache or they make me feel sick. Um, so I am on the hunt for a perfume that does neither of those that I can wear all the time and it's like a signature scent so I'm going to treat myself.
Hibiscus. I have it on. It smells so good. And the good thing is that it's literally one spray lasts and I don't like covering myself in a, in perfume. I even have to tell Paul off if he wears too much. If he does more than like two sprays, I'm like, you're making me feel sick. You're giving me a headache. Uh, so no, it's really, really nice. So the woman in there was so helpful, so lovely. And you like it as well, don't you? I do like it. I thought it was really nice. And the good thing is coming down when this dispenser just opened, you had the time to actually do that without other people being in the shop. Oh yeah, there was literally no one. Like she spent yeah. like 20 minutes with us, like letting me smell Everything. most of the fragrances. Like she asked me, you know, what I liked, what I don't like, what tends to give me a headache, and then she narrowed it down to three, and then we narrowed it down to two, and then I chose the one that was a bit more kind of longer lasting. Gonna do a little bit of shopping, some Disney shopping. Oh, I still need to find a mug. Still looking for a mug. I think I've basically decided I'm not gonna get a lounge fly because I still haven't seen one that I liked. So I did get my purple spirit jersey, but I'm still on the lookout for a mug. Look at this little cat bed, or dog bed, if you have a small, a small dog, like a Dachshund would love that. That's so cute. I feel like they are trying to do like some more subtle Disney, like this is the kind of subtle, yeah. subtle Disney collection here. Paul told me to come back with some new coasters. I don't know if this is what he had in mind, but I really like them. They have a very good collection of mugs in here. I apologize if the music is really loud and annoying, um, but I still think my favorite is the one I found in the hotel of Aurora. I haven't seen one that I like more than that. I was also tempted to get one of these like um, coffee tumblers, but they're all so massive. Like, they're all so huge. If I can find a small one, I might get one. Maybe gonna look for some Thomas Kincaid prints, actually. Is that when we had a Pocahontas one that I really like? Oh dear, this is where I'm gonna do some damage. There's a whole Disney pet section. I wanna see if I can find Whiskey the Doggy Bowls. All right, we are on the hunt for some artwork for my office. Potentially by Thomas Kincaid, because I really like his stuff. Oh, I love the smell in here. Obviously you guys can't smell it, but it smells really nice. So the prints are all over here. So let me have a little look. This one is so pretty. If they had this in a print, I would get it, but um, can't spare $5,000 at the moment for the original, unfortunately. Oh, the muses, that's pretty. My mother in her natural habitat, a Christmas shop. So many Disney snacks, so little time. I do love this cookie, but I think I'm gonna get it in the Magic Kingdom so it doesn't melt, because it's very warm today. Some souvenirs, my mother-in-law loves tea, so uh, we've got some Wonderland tea, some Mad Hearty, Mad, Mad Hearty. Oh, and I've dropped it. This is going well. I have no hands. But different Wonderland teas. I think she'll like them. Sea Springs does look lovely though. Did they used to have, they didn't used to have this walkway, did they? I don't think they used to have this walkway. And that's Saratoga Springs over there. This is the closest resort to Disney Springs. And I think it's exclusively Disney Vacation Club members that can stay there. So they have some of the little coffee tumblers here, which I'm kind of interested in for when I go out to write in the library and I can take a coffee with me. I just need to pick what design I like. That's a nice one. That's nice too, but I'm not the biggest Tinkerbell fan. They never have, they never have Pocahontas on anything. She was in a cavalcade. She was in a cavalcade yesterday. So I ended up getting this one, so I can use it when I'm not in Disney as well. Okay, we're now having a little look in the Disney Style store. See if there's anything in here we haven't seen yet. This is so cute. I love this. I like this Moana notebook. The pen is like a little canoe paddle. It's actually wood. Oh, some ASMR for you. It's a Tiana spirit jersey I've not seen before. It's very like nondescript from the front and then Tiana at the back and it says, love what you do, do what you love. It's actually a really nice one. Not my favorite color though. 
Okay, I'm seeing another purple spirit jersey. Oh no, this isn't a spirit jersey. It's just a jumper. And I'm not keen on it. I do quite like this hat though. It's nice. Oh, this shirt is adorable. Oh, I really like that. Ooh, should I get this? I don't know. I don't like bugs or mushrooms. If it just had that little Mickey on it, I would maybe get that. Sorry, there's an alarm going off. That's probably really annoying on this video. I still really like this t-shirt. I have shown this t-shirt in so many vlogs. I wish they had it with all the princesses. Like this kind of spirit jersey style t-shirt, but with different princesses on it. I've only seen it with Jasmine. It's taken a little walk down. This is the west side. Now we're heading back up to the buses. We're gonna drop off all of our purchases in the room at the hotel, and then we're gonna head to the Magic Kingdom. So that's the one thing about Disney that kind of baffled Paul, was that he was like, you're going to Disney for two weeks. Like, are you not gonna be bored? Like, that's so long, that's so much time. It's never enough time. Like, we were already like, oh, like we wanted to go to the boardwalk, and we wanted to do the boat over. Like, we're probably not gonna get to do that now. Well, we'll do the boat, but I don't think we'll do boardwalk. So yeah, time always runs away with you, plans always change, um, but yeah, it's been so fun so far. We've still got like five days. We've still got five days, but out of those five days we're doing SeaWorld and Discovery Cove. So we're kind of popping in and out of Disney parks as we go. So yeah, this is going to be the end of the kind of Disney extras vlog where you had the character breakfast, you had us going on our little shopping trip at the pool, and um, also this little Disney Springs shopping trip as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And as I probably said before, make sure you like it because that pushes the video out to more people. And make sure you subscribe to see all of the other Disney vlogs and travel vlogs and news that's coming your way. And thank you so much for watching. If you have made it to the end here, leave a comment. So I said to myself I wasn't going to vlog uh, this afternoon, but we're going on some rides we haven't gone on yet, so I maybe want to remember them because my memory's shit, so uh, I enjoy watching the vlogs back and experiencing it all again. We actually just had the spring rolls from the spring roll cart. Uh, I should have filmed my reaction, but I didn't think I was vlogging, so I will just tell you now. We got both the cheeseburger and the pepperoni. Yeah, that way, ma'am. Cheeseburger and pepperoni. Uh, cheeseburger was like minus five out of ten for me because it was full of pickle uh, and I don't like pickles. So if you like pickles, then it's maybe your thing. But uh, I took one bite and I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, not for me. Mm -mm. Yeah, you liked it with the sauce. My mom ended up having the cheeseburger ones. We were gonna have one each, and I had the pepperoni ones, which were nice. They tasted just like a pizza. But if I'm honest, I wish that they would just like sell normal vegetable spring rolls because. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Like, <laughs> can an American in my comments explain this to me? What is what is banned? Like, where do you guys compete? Do you just do you just do it at football games? What what is it? I mean, it's cool, talented. I used to play the clarinet, but yeah. Um, please explain. So we do have a dash pass return time for this, but it's only 45 minutes in the middle of a day. I'm very impressed with how short that wait time is for Big Thunder. So Big Thunder Man's a little bit different with the DAS Pass. You don't wait in the lightning lane, you come to the back door. And we're gonna get to ride twice, so we can come straight back here. That's so fun. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Got a big mark from my glasses on my nose. Hustle! That's 
so cute! Ever. Why have I never seen these anywhere before? I like these more than the ones I actually got. Oh my goodness. They're so perfect. They have a little double bow. My mum has convinced me to get them. I did love them. In the Main Street confectionery. God knows what this vlog is. Like, I've just been filming some clips from Main Street. Maybe I'll put this in with the miscellaneous Disney vlog because it's making no sense. We're here for my Mickey Mouse cookie. But this little mini apple is so cute. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to show you guys some of this because these are adorable. Oh, look at these. Do you want anything or are we just getting the cookie? Yeah, I think the biscuits might get Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's really funny, the original wrappers. If these are the real ones that they had in America, that's cool. 